the Dhammapada, verse 350, the mindful end craving. Vitaku pasa mecha yorato, asubham bhavyati sadasato, esako vyantikhahiti, eso chechati mara bandhanam. He who delights in subduing evil thoughts, who meditates on the loathsomeness of the body, who is ever mindful, it is he who will make an end of craving. He will sever Mara's bond. How a young woman influenced a bhikkhu. Once, a bhikkhu took his alms food in one of the shelters specially built for bhikkhus in town. After his meal, he went to a house and asked for some drinking water from a young woman. As soon as she saw the young bhikkhu, she fell in love with him. Wishing to win his heart, she invited the young bhikkhu to come to her house whenever he felt thirsty. After some time, she invited him to her house for alms food. She told him that she had everything she could wish for, but she felt lonely all by herself in the house. Hearing those words, the young bhikkhu took the hint, and he soon found himself to be more attached to the young woman. He became very much dissatisfied with his life as a bhikkhu and was getting thin. Other bhikkhus reported him to the Buddha. The Buddha admonished the young bhikkhu, My son, listen attentively. This young woman will be your undoing, just as she has been in a previous existence. In one of your previous existences, you were a very skillful archer, and she was your wife. On one occasion, while both of you were traveling, you met a gang of highwaymen. She fell in love with the gang leader. So, while you were fighting with the gang leader, she gave your sword to the gang leader who promptly killed you. Thus, she became the cause of your death. Now, too, she will cause the ruin of your holy life. My son, uproot and destroy the desire which has sprung up within you for this woman. The young bhikkhu then strove diligently and ardently to purify his mind to realize the Dhamma.